Hey, it's Kyle here, and today I'll be reviewing The Fallen Star by Claudia Gray, which is the newest book in the Star Wars High Republic series. If you've been watching the show, you know I have absolutely loved the High Republic series so far. The books have been amazing, be it the adult novels, the young adult novels, even the middle school books have been really cool. Um, and this is the last adult novel in basically phase one of The High Republic. So I was very excited. Um, to read this book uh, after the first two books in the series, The Light of the Jedi and The Rising Storm, which are two of my favorite Star Wars books ever. They were amazing. I was super excited for this book. And wow, <laughs> this was a read. I'll say, um, and I'm going to avoid any plot spoilers for people who haven't read it yet, or if you haven't read any of the series yet. Uh, so don't worry about that. But a few things I can say straight up. Um, this is a brutal book. This has a very high body count. In fact, I, I was trying to wreck my mind uh, about this, and um, I think this, I cannot think of another Star Wars thing that had this many main characters die other than Rogue One. Uh, especially on the book side, I can't really think of anything that had this many characters that are just wiped out and like you know the high republic is a series so a lot of these characters were characters i assumed and other people assumed oh these are characters gonna be around for the rest of the series for several more books and comics and all other stuff that goes with the high republic and they were just wiped out and you know like for the the series so far is established and this is not the first book that had some major characters die that i think they're very much going like hey we're not beholden to anything this no character safe anybody can die in a lot of ways it's kind of making it a more exciting thing to read because you just don't know what to expect you know with the old legend star wars books and you know you're reading it and you kind of seem like oh they're luke's not going to die you know uh han's not going to die leia's not going you just you kind of need certain characters are kind of safe and um and one of the other star wars books you kind of fall in that trap they're making it clear with the High Republic series, especially with this book, no character is safe, and it's making these books very exciting. Um, I did see a very interesting comparison on um, the Star Wars Explained YouTube series, which I absolutely uh, love that channel, uh, where they were doing the review for this book, and they talked about this book kind of reminded them of kind of a, a similar storyline to like a Titanic or the Poseidon adventure where you have kind of like a disaster movie set within one location. I hadn't really thought about that after I read it, but when I read it, it's like, yeah, that's a great comparison because that's, that's what this book is. It's set on Starlight Beacon, which is a, a space station, which is, you know, kind of the main focus of the first book in the series. And we're, as the rest of the High Republic books so far, I've been kind of have a, a grander scope, discovering several different planets and stuff like this. 90% of the storyline, maybe 95% of the storyline, is all on this one space station. So it's kind of a, a little bit different from a Star Wars book. You had such a narrow focus. And I really did enjoy it. I did miss a little bit of the jumping around because uh, uh, the High Republic has had such a grand scope. That's part of the elements I've enjoyed. But this was a nice little change up. I don't think I'd like the rest of the series if it just was all like this and set on one location. But it's a little bit of change up for this specific event of this book. I really enjoyed it. Um, again, I won't get too much of the, the specifics of it, but the general idea is the Neil, the main bad guys of, uh, of this series, are um, attempting to destroy Starlight Beacon, which is kind of this grand um, project of the Jedi and the Republic. And you're dealing with the, uh, the aftermath of this. As the title <laughs> kind of gives it away, Fallen Star, and I just went to Starlight Beacon, um, you can kind of assume things don't go the best for Starlight Beacon. Uh, but it's really fascinating to kind of see how the storyline unfolds. Um, it can be frustrating sometimes with some of the choices some of the characters make, but you realize, you know, in these situations, not everybody makes the correct decision. And you kind of realize, oh, you're making a mistake here. This is going to go this way. Oh, don't you see that? It kind of made it, you know, a, a fun read in that regard that not every decision made by the good guys was always the most correct and perfect decision. When sometimes books can fall in that, like the bad, the good guy never makes a mistake and is always making the perfect decisions. This is not the case in The Fallen Star. There's good decisions made, but there's also bad decisions made. Um, and I really enjoyed kind of seeing how that played out, how that impacted the storyline, how that impacted the characters who lived, who survived, and how it impacted the characters who did survive, now what the aftermath they are dealing with. 
And to me, the, a great mark of a book in a series is after you read that book, how excited are you for the next book in the series? And I'll say after I finished this book, I was like, I want the next book now. And to me, that's the mark that this book is really cool. Um, overall, in the first kind of three adult novels in the series, uh, I would say this is probably, I would rank this third, <laughs> third out of three. Um, but I don't want to make this clear. It's not that I hated this book. It's just the first two books were near perfect. Now, like if I rank both of those like 10 out of 10, this might be like a nine out of 10. So it's still really amazing. Just not quite as amazing as the first two books. So overall, if you've been reading the Hunter Republic series and you haven't got the following story yet, get the book, continue the series. You're not going to be disappointed. If you're a Star Wars fan and you love Star Wars books and you haven't started the Hunter Republic series, please check the Hunter Republic series. Now, the authors in this series are doing such amazing work. Um, this is some of the best Star Wars writing that's been done in a long, long time. They deserve support. Read the series. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, anyway, that's my review and endorsement, I guess you could say, for the High Republic series in general and the newest book in that series, The Fallen Star by Claudia Gray. If you've been reading the High Republic series so far, I'm curious, let me know in the comments section below. Who is your favorite character in the High Republic series so far? Um, it doesn't have to be anybody that is in The Fallen Star, um, or it can be. Just let me know who your favorite character is so far. I'd be very interested to see so far. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And I really appreciate the support. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me every time I see a new subscriber. You know, I'm a smaller <laughs> channel, so I do notice when I get new subscribers. And every time I do, I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Happy reading. May the force be with you. And I'll see you the next time.